Hey there. Well, we've got an assignment for you for this summer. We'd like you to read a couple of books, and I've got them right here. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about them just to get your interest up. I'd like you to have fun reading them in the summer. I'd like you to come back in September of next year. And if you see me around, let me know what you thought of it. And if you enjoyed it, if you didn't, if you didn't enjoy it. And you can tell me why you didn't enjoy it as well. Reading in the summer is one of life's pleasures. You go off to the beach, you go off to the cottage, uh, you go off to the mountains if you need to. Have a book with you uh, when you're not, when you're finished, around the evening time. It's one of the best things to do. Now, let's get to the books. I've got two books here that I'm willing to recommend this summer. We've got Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, and we've got Tales of Mystery and Imagination by Edgar Allan Poe. Both of them come from the 19th century. Now, the 19th century was a simpler time. Uh, the stories are a little bit more engaging and a little bit more universal, uh, whereas things got a little bit com more complicated in the 20th century and later to our modern time. These stories are fun, and that's one of the main things we want to focus on. They're fun, they're enjoyable, they will grip your imagination. Uh, let's start with Charles Dickens and Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist, as most of you know, probably, perhaps you've never even read the book, but you, you probably know the story in general. It's that much a part of our culture. It's, it's been in movies, it's been in cartoons. Um, Oliver Twist is a little boy that lived on the streets, and he was taken into um, a kind of a difficult life, a criminal life. And one of the reasons that Charles Dickens wrote this book was to change that situation in England in the 19th century. There was a lot of uh, kids that lost their way. He had observed this in his life and he thought he had to write about it in order to change something about the way society was structured. And so we got Oliver Twist. Now, that set aside, it's a great story by itself. It's just fun. You follow the adventures of little Oliver Twist. He's an orphan, a boy with no parents. And he, because of that fact, he gets into criminality and various other things. And you'll have to see how he comes out at the end. Now, the other writer we have, Edgar Allan Poe, the master of horror stories, of scary stories, of strange stories, of weird stories. And some of the best ones are in this version right here. Uh, we've got the... Uh, the dark poem, The Raven, you've got the, the Telltale Heart, lots of mini, mini stories like that that are fun to read, uh, also historically important. They set that foundation for horror stories that we have to this day. Uh, he was one of the earliest horror story writers to get mass uh, acclaim, mass popularity. Um, I would suggest that uh, if you go with Poe or if you go with Dickens, you will not be uh, disappointed and you will, I think, come, uh, come through to September with a lot more uh, reading material behind you. And uh, some of you will be learning this in your next year as well, grade six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, this will be a great way to prepare for your upcoming school year. So have fun, that's the biggest thing. Have fun with these books, have fun in the summer as well. And uh, don't forget to let me know in September what you thought of them, whether you liked them or you didn't like them. Have fun.